Storm Tracker weather starts now with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. You know, it wasn't really hot today at all. It was a beautiful day out there. In fact, we had plenty of sunshine, sunshine and just a few clouds. I had a picture from Loretta Hurley. I got this picture on top of a horseback. You can see just, just a beautiful end to, a, to the day, and it was. That's you're looking at the sunset out there. I think that's out there by Molt. What a cool looking shot that is, huh? Meanwhile, look at this one. This was from Sandy Dara. You're looking at the wild sunflowers in Makoshika State Park. So kind of a cool looking picture there. And right now, here's the way things are shaping up in Billings tonight. It's not a bad night here. As you can see, we're at 65 degrees. We have partly cloudy skies up there feels like 65 and of course the humidity is 36 percent and the dew point 37 degrees that's kind of low so that's why it feels pretty nice out there a dew point is a measurement of uh, how the humidity feels and so uh, really not too bad and you'll notice here our winds are out of the northeast at about eight miles per hour so really and not uh, just a typical perfect night to be sitting out maybe on a back fire back backyard campfire or something like that just a nice night meanwhile here's what's happening for our high temp we got up to 79 degrees the normal high 87 the record 106 back in 2002 I think a couple of days from now, we'll actually get up to 108 degrees. That'll be the all-time record high for Billings. Meanwhile, this is uh, our lows, and you see 59 is the average low for this time of year, and we, we actually it's very close to that. It was 61 this morning. Uh, as far as precipitation, nothing new to add to the total, so here's where we are for the month, and we're a little bit behind. For the year, we're also at over 8 inches, but we're still a little bit behind. We need to be at 8.59 inches to be caught up to average. And around the rest of the state, our current temps are mostly into the uh, 60s, 50s, and 60s across Montana. Some of the cooler temps up there are cut back at 55, Great Falls, at 56 and we got a few 50s back here uh, Jordan right now at 57 northern Wyoming still into the 60s Glendive right now at 59 and of course here in Billings we're at 65 our reported highs today they weren't bad mostly into the 70s across Montana but we did have a few places like Jordan got up to 81 and 85 down in Worland Wyoming and as you can see here tonight we still got a few leftover scattered showers had a cold front move through last night and then we had some instability showers around Yellowstone National Park and the Beartooth still got some spotty showers there that stuff continues to track all the way across the state line with Wyoming but let's get down to the 3D Doppler radar. We can show you these storms as they come up over the mountains. They were pretty big. And then about the time they get to the top of the mountains and come down, they just start to fall apart. And we don't see too much after that. And they continue to track their way all the way across in towards the Dakotas tonight. They're actually wrapping up around this low pressure cell up here. And so all that moisture continues to move around that cold front. My, tomorrow that cold front slides out of the way. High pressure moves in behind that. Cooler temperatures will prevail for about another day. And then mild weather starts moving in like by the time Wednesday gets here. You'll see temps get back up into the 80s. And then by the time, say, Thursday and Friday got here, here comes some more warm air. We'll see temps getting right back up into the 90s again for a couple of days. In the meantime, tonight our temps will cool back down to the 40s and 50s, partly cloudy skies here in eastern Montana. And then for tomorrow, we bounce right back up into the 70s, some 80s, in most cases the low 80s. I think here in Billings will be 79. It'll be 82 over Mile City, 81 over Glendive. And then for tonight in Billings, we're cooling down to 52 with partly cloudy skies. Next seven days, check these out. It will look like this. It'll be 79 degrees on Tuesday with mostly sunny skies, partly cloudy on Wednesday and 86 degrees. By the time Thursday gets here, we're up to 93, 93 degrees on Friday with a slight chance for some late in the day showers. Saturday, we cool it back down. A new cold front moves through that night. We cool down to 86 degrees with a 20% chance for some spotty showers, otherwise mostly sunny skies. Sunday, back up to 79 with a 40% chance for showers on Monday, 81 degrees, with also another 40% chance for some splash and dash showers then. That's weather. Let's go back to Russ.